Hello, everybody. Welcome back to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com. I'm your professor and host, Michael. And today we're going to cover cold email. So we're going to cover uh, what is cold email, uh, what you should do, and then we're going to look at two examples, and then I'm going to give you a template. Okay, so what is a cold email? Cold email is the first email you send to a potential customer without prior contact. That means you don't have contact with this potential buyer, right? Uh, through social media platforms or via email. So you're either sending them through uh, social media like Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, or any other uh, uh, social media platform, or you can do it through email. So when you when you're cold emailing somebody it means that you do not know the person this person you do not know at all right let's say for example that you're trying to message uh, uh maybe an executive from mcdonald's and you want to get their attention on a certain on a, maybe a a, a a certain opportunity that you can offer right so Cold, the ability to cold email is that you're sending them a message even though you don't know them and you're trying to give them maybe an opportunity for something, right? You're trying to offer them something. So essentially, you're contacting them first for the first time, right? The point of the message is either to sell, connect, or set something that you want or get something that you want, right? We have to understand that people are busy and may not care about your cold email that you're sending to them. So if you are doing this, this is really important for people who are uh, studying uh, international business, right? Or people who are maybe who want to do freelancing and want to sell their services in uh, English speaking countries. So this is for English business uh, learners specifically. So things that you should do is that you want to make your message clear, right? You want to make it clear, just so, like we talked about with uh, uh, how to make an email, right? When you're making a cold email, you also have to make it as clear as well. You're saying, I want to help you with this. Uh, I think I'm very valuable. You're letting people know what you want, right? You're not beating around the bush. Another thing you're doing is also you're adding value, right? Uh, by adding value, it means that you are giving them something that can help them instead of just asking for help, right? Uh, you're, you're giving them some type of value. So make it about the prospect. So, for example, I have somebody who messaged me today on Instagram and they asked me for something. They said, can you help me with something? And I said, no, because... Uh, I did not know if I could help them and I didn't know if it was something that was safe for me. I didn't know it could have been a, a scam or maybe a spam. So I said no to them because they came from a position from asking for help, like help me. And that's all you're getting is just for you to help me. Right. So you're not really adding value and you're not making it about the prospect. Right. So if you're cold emailing, emailing, you have to give some type of value and you have to make the prospect care because you're you're helping them. Right. Another thing is that uh, with cold emailing, let's say that you message somebody and you don't hear from them for a while and you message them again and then you keep messaging them and keep messaging them and keep messaging them. This is something you shouldn't really do because that's not good at business ethics. Right. You can have a follow up email. It's OK to message him maybe a couple of days later and follow up. Say, hey, you know, I haven't heard from you. I'd like to follow up with you. Please contact me here. Right. And please let please let me know if you like to talk. Right. It's OK to do that, but it's not OK to uh, spam people over and over and over if they don't reply to you. Another thing is don't try to sell. A lot of people uh, do cold emailing to try to sell and make money. Right. I see this a lot, too. I've had this happen to me as well, where I'll, I ask somebody for help. Right. I ask a group of people say, hey, I need help with this problem. I was a problem with advertisement. And uh, I asked them, I need help with uh, posting my ads on Facebook. Uh, can somebody help me? Right. 
uh, I'm having this particular problem. I explained this is the, my problem. Uh, can somebody talk to me uh, about how to fix this problem, right? Maybe a, uh, like a, kind of like a free consultation. I would, I would accept that. But what ended up happening, somebody messaged me and was trying to sell me right away. Oh, you know, I can, uh, I can do this for $500. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I know what this is. I, I know what that is. Da, 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 da. You know, they were trying too hard to sell me. And I said, no, I, this is not what I want because you were not paying attention to me. You are not listening to me, right? So when you're sending a cold email, it's not about you making money. It's about you having an impact, right? And I see so many people from uh, uh, undeveloped countries uh, do that a lot when they're trying to do freelancing or when they're trying to uh, interact with people from, uh, you know, I guess more developed, developed countries, right? It's not that it's wrong or it's bad. It's just that it's just a bad habit that people get into, right? So try to come from a position of you helping people and adding value, right? And not trying to sell. Another thing is known, don't write too generic, right? You want to be very specific. Um, you want it to make it uh, specific towards the person that you're writing towards, right? Another one is use proper grammar, right? If you need help with grammar and English, you can always contact me. I can help you guys out, right? But if you're speaking or in typing that's incorrect, then your message that you're trying to convey to the person that you're trying to connect with will be bad, right? So if you don't have proper grammar with your writing and with your speaking, with your spelling or et cetera, then your, your opportunities are going to suffer. Okay, so here's an example. I'm gonna give you guys two examples. So this is a person just kind of contacting the business and saying, hey, you know, uh, I'm reaching out because I know something and I can help you with this, right? That's fine. That's a good way of doing it. Hey, business name. I hope this email finds you well. I'm reaching out to you because I know you guys or let's say Facebook doesn't have a social media page yet. My company, uh, let's say Easy, Rise, Easy Advertising, actually runs a social media page for businesses like yours. In doing so, we create closer bonds between your customers and your businesses, our business. Looking forward to hearing from you, uh, your name, Michael Corrubias, right? So this is a good example of you adding value. You're saying, hey, I noticed that you don't have a social media page. We actually help with social media pages. Uh, let me help you, right? Another, and this is another example which is uh, to look better, feel better, lose weight. This is for example, for like, uh, uh, I guess like for a gym, right? Hello, contact first name. I assume, I, I, the reason I'm reaching out to you is that I am on the top gym. I'm with the top gym and we help people look, looking to lose weight, to look and feel better, lose weight, get on and stay on a workout schedule, trans transition to a healthier lifestyle, improve their self-confidence, we can help you uh, prove all of those areas. And that is why I'm reaching out to you. Are you, are you. are you available for a brief 15 to 20 minute meeting next Tuesday or Thursday morning where we can share with you some examples of how we have helped individuals to get healthier and improve their lives? So again, this is adding value. Uh, like I said, a lot of people, when they message people, they're asking for help. Like the, the person sending the message is asking for help, where it should be you are offering help. You're giving help to other people, right? You want to give help, not ask for help, right? So here's a template that I use uh, when I was a freelancer. Uh, I'm, I'm a freelancer, but mostly people contact me. So I'm not really contacting people. But sometimes when I do have... Uh, uh, when I do want to do some freelancing work in writing or in editing, this is a template that I use. I say, hello, uh, name here, oh, the person's name. Hello, uh, John. I saw the work that you did and really liked it. You did a great job on blank, let's say, on your, on your social media page. This may turn out to be good for both of us. I spent a couple of years helping people uh, uh, in advertising, creating copywriting, and making content catchy that 
so that it gets more clicks and more views. We could work together if we talk and come to an agreement via phone or Skype. Does this sound reasonable? Let's discuss on Skype or phone. Here is mine. Fake one, two, three. This is a fake Skype number. What are yours? Right. What's your information? And then you can just say, uh, best regards, Michael. Right. So this is a way you would structure your, oh, I guess it's not really deleting. That, this is a good way to structure your uh, cold email. Right. You're offering value saying, hey, this is who I am. Um, I'm here to help you. I, this is my experience of me helping people. We could work together. Uh, contact me this way. What is your contact? Hope to hear from you soon. Right. Let's say hope to hear from you soon. Best regards, Michael. Right. We have our opener. We have our body. And then we have our close. Right. So this is how you make a cold email. I'll be making more of these in the future, especially because I want to help uh, international students, especially with uh, uh, business, uh, international business students. So if you if you like this content, please like uh, this video, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. I like to make th these videos as well. And uh, if the more that you like these videos and subscribe, the more content I'll be making because I really do enjoy this and I really want students to learn, uh, you know, and to get ahead in life by learning English and learning to use English as a tool for success. Okay. So I hope to see you guys in the future. Take care and have a good day.